Hey there, I'm Henry. I'm one of the co-founders of Reclaim.ai. You know, Reclaim, we're always thinking about ways that we can better fit um, all the different workflows that people have for managing their calendars. And for a very long time, we have had a feature in our product or several features that will automatically categorize and set your Slack status, for example, based on uh, what category of event um, you're looking at. So if you have a personal event, we can set your status based on that. If you have a meeting, we can set your status based on that. A really common status and one of the ones that a lot of people use is this uh, status for setting uh, vacations, right? So when you're out of office and you wanna let people know that you're out of office and go on Do Not Disturb, um, you can do that automatically. If we notice a vacation event on your calendar or a, an event that looks like PTO or, or out of office, um, we'll, uh, we'll set it automatically. And a lot of people actually use these specific out of office um, uh, meeting type um, in uh, Google. So if you're in Google Workspace, uh, you can use this specific meeting type that will uh, decline meetings and and make sure that people don't invite you to stuff when you're out of vacation. And one thing we learned in talking to users is that some people actually use this in a really different way than we anticipated. We had always expected that most people, when they would use out of office, they'd use it for like a full day um, or they'd use it for like multiple days when they go on vacation. But we also heard from users that sometimes they use it when they're just stepping away for a few hours, right? If maybe you're going to a longer appointment or um, you've got some kind of longer, you know, maybe a few hours, half day, that kind of thing. And you probably don't want to convey to people that you're on vacation then. You really just want to say that you're doing something personal. So this is a really small set of tweaks, but we think it's going to make a big difference in how your coworkers kind of see your status and see whether you're, you're, you know, kind of more information about what you're up to when they look at your Slack information. Um, and that's that we've started to kind of get a bit smarter about how we process and categorize out of office events. So uh, in this video, I'll kind of show you some, some basics here of how we do this. So the, the first really big change is that now um, when we see an out of office event that is shorter than a certain duration, we've, we've decided on eight hours being kind of roughly the time frame that we would not want to set it as vacation. Instead of scoring it as vacation, we would actually score it as a personal event. Um, so in this case, you know, I've got this cute status here that says this time it's personal. And I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, uh, stepping away. And I'm not actually going to decline any meetings here because I don't really want to. But in this case, I'm stepping away from, you know, 11 a.m. to 2.35 p.m. I'll probably actually make it 10.30 to 2.05 just so you can see my status update. Um, and you'll see here, instead now of it saying uh, out of office or vacation, you can see it's got my personal event status. And that's because Reclaim's noticed that like, hey, you've got an out of office event, but it's only a couple hours. So let's not, let's not set you to vacation. Let's actually just set this as a personal commitment. But if I were to go in here and actually say, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this all day, right? I'm, I'm, I'm out for all day. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to decline my meetings. I don't want to do that. Um, but now I've set it to all day instead of just a few hours. Woo. Now I'm on vacation. Right. So there's these little things, you know, again, a big part of our mission as a company is really thinking through these nuanced scenarios where, you know, different people use these events in different ways. And we always want to make sure that we're kind of thinking about even these little details that help you to kind of convey your status or convey the context of what you're doing in a really, really true way um, without you having to manage it manually. Um, so small change, but we're pretty excited to get it out to you. This is live now in everyone's account. So you'll notice that your Slack status should get a little bit smarter. Um, this is also, by the way, going to impact um, uh, event scoring. So if you notice that your stats start to look a little less vacation heavy, um, that may also uh, be a nice little byproduct of it as you may see like a more accurate reflection of your personal time as a result. Um, so that's just a little bit of information about something that uh, is brand new. And uh, thanks so much.